How you all feeling today? You excited? Are you done with work? Are you done with school? Are you done with whatever it is that makes you happy? <laughs> Feel free to send me a request and we can talk a bit about Arsenal Manchester United on Friday. I know it's an FA Cup. You know, many people don't pay too much attention to FA Cups. I do. I hope my neighbors don't drive me out. I'm coming on a slight air mopper on here. <laughs> but it's okay. How are you doing, GPMU? <laughs> Take a shot. Wait, 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 wait. You see this? Uh, you see this? You see this? Yes. You're not the only one that got a jersey on. I've got something to show I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah, I yeah, think. but you don't. Do but you don't have the virus right now. We're loving life. You know, <laughs> things are good. <laughs> <laughs> so how you doing, uh, Mr. Mupani? Everyone, say hello to Mr. Mupani. He's a hello. strong Manchester United fan. My act enemy for this Friday. He's my friend of the pitch, but right now he's my enemy. Yeah, and I want to hear her talk about um, Friday. What do you? How do you think the game is gonna go? So last time we came to um, Emirates, you destroyed us. You ripped us apart. Destroy, destroy is an understatement. You know, you need to use the right word. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we annihilated That's you guys. You <laughs> annihilated us. Um, I can't remember the score, but I know the hair was our savior. Okay? And it, even though we have form... Are you talking about we, are you talking about FA Cup now? Or are you no, it, about, wasn't, it wasn't an FA Cup. Just a normal game. I'm using a normal it was game. Premier, it was a Premier League game. It was actually ended 2-2, that one. But the last time we played you guys, when I remember correctly, was we have Sanchez scoring a magnificent goal. Joe Walcott scoring another wonderful goal. And... Um, but I think that was in the Emirates. I don't think that was in, you know, Manchester United. So, well, I'm, you I'm guys have always, in, in the FA Cup, Emirates. No, in the FA Cup, you guys have always had um, our upper hand against Arsenal. In the FA Cup, whenever we meet. And against, not... um, against, against us in Wenger, I think out of seven games or so, you guys won like, what, five or six? No, I think five. You guys won five. So we're always, you know, we're not doing too well against you guys in the FA Cup. But if it's in the Premier League, I say, okay, recently we've been trying to build up to get to you guys' level. So, yeah, sorry yeah, to interrupt you. That's, that's fine. So it's true. You are saying the truth. However, having said that, these are different managers. Different managers. And I feel like we have a stronger chance in this game specifically because we are in a time right now where we have nothing to lose, really, if it's an FA Cup game. If Socha, if you beat us, who's going to cry? Who's going to go, oh, uh, Socha, you suck? Who's, we have nothing to lose. There's no pressure on us, right? I think the pressure is with you. We are having a terrible season, and it, it will not anymore. Work. Not anymore. Well, you've not got, anymore. You've got, a, you've got a savior in social, isn't it? Yeah. So going into the game, I strongly believe it's going to be a bit... Uh, we're going to have a strong half. I don't know whether it's going to be the first or second. And there's going to be a half, just like against Spurs, because of your attack, you're going to rip our defense behind, apart. But because of our man, De Gea... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to get through. Before you, before you get your hopes up, right? I'm going to get your hopes up. I'm going to be okay. very real with you. Okay. I don't think he's been really tested. I think against Tottenham, in my opinion, um, the girl was a savior against Tottenham. And hey, yes. he's part of the team. He's part of the team. Yes. 11 yes. players, you know, he's part of the team. He did his job really well. You know, he did so well, you know, in that game. Um, I agree. However, he hasn't really met a tough test yet. And for me, when you begin to test how good a manager is, is when he misses a stumbling block and how he crosses that stumbling block, how he gets the guys out of the woods, how he gets them out of that sticky situation and how he, you know, he prevails. That's how you actually know if a manager has been proven. You know what I mean? So I he's doing right. You. you guys have the best form presently. There's no doubt about it. There's yes. absolutely no doubt about it. You know, yes. I'll give you guys proof for that. However, mm -hmm. the tougher test is yet to come. That's what I'm saying. I respectfully disagree. The reason I respectfully disagree is I believe De Gea has been tested for years. Since Sir Alex Ferguson left, De Gea has saved us so many times. 
and he's made world class saves. Yes, the game against Spurs was simple expected saves for a world class keeper. However, I don't think thing the hair has never been tested. In no, 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 no. Field. I never said that. Maybe you didn't hear me properly. I okay, said soldier. Soldier, the manager. That's what I said. Not the guest. Yes. Okay. I agree to that. Fine. I'm about the he manager. hasn't been tested. He I'm hasn't about been tested. Not the guest. Fine. Fine. Yes. He hasn't been tested. I think the one test where he does show that tactically sound he is was against Spurs. The first half, they've been practicing counters and they worked a few game plans that worked and only survived for a half until Tottenham changed it up. Then they didn't really know what to do. Fine. I agree with that. However, yeah, that's, what that's, what, that's exactly what I said. However, nonetheless, I think this is going to be a victory for Man United on the basis the fact that we have no pressure on us, you guys have the pressure. We don't have pressure. We lose this game, we're not going to hate him. But you, do yes. realize that your, but you do realize that your defense, you know, Manchester United defense currently, is yes. almost as bad as Arsenal defense. Exactly, but... And, oh, someone's trying to call me. Let me cut them. In the Premier League, you yes. guys have considered one more goal more than us. So, hey, you know... It's, Except it's you forgot one thing. Say that again? We... You can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. We have De Gea. You don't have a De Gea. We, all our defenses suck. What? We have a De Gea. You don't. You need, to understand. you need to understand something. Let me stop you there. This is the FA Cup. And in the FA Cup, he's probably not going to play De Gea. He's going to play Romero. And same as us, we're probably going to play Czech, who is retiring at the end of the season, by the way. So you need to think about the fact that you're playing FA Cup, and then you're going to play a Premier League game during the week on Tuesday, so the manager's got to be, you know, use his wisdom. He's not just going to put all the first team players in the squad. He's going to put some few players, yeah, he's going to put some few players, maybe his first team players on the bench, maybe mix it up a bit, same thing with Arsenal, because yes. it's, a risk. it's a risk playing your, you know, first team players. Do you know what I mean? And in your defense right now, I mean, since Soja came in your defense, he's been mixing it up. In the, in the, some, there's some games that um, Ashiko didn't start. There's some games that Eric Bai, okay, Eric Bai was because he had the red card and then came back. There's some, yeah. there's some games I saw Damian. I think I watched the, the Mike Manchester United Reading game. I was in Nigeria then and I was actually, you know, drinking some beers and all that, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> I, was, you know, I was watching it, so I didn't really pay so much attention. But yeah. he played Damian and um, Jones in the central defense and I was like, wow, he's got balls to do that. So, in my opinion, he hasn't figured out who is first. I mean, the last few games, he's played Lindelof and um and 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 Jones, I think that's probably his best bearing right now. I'm, I'm, yes, but I think that's when he's bearing to us. He's still uh, trying to yeah. figure things out, and that's why there's so much inconsistency, um, in the team. But for me, I think it's gonna be an attacking game from both sides. If Without use, question. Yeah, if they use the first, if they use some of the first team players, probably gonna be an attacking side. But I don't see many of our first team players playing that game, except it becomes really bad, and then he brings them on, and I think it's gonna be the same thing with you guys. Um, I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure. I really feel he's going to play De Gea. I really feel. Because if Why? generally, Why? as optimistic I am, I don't think we have anything in Champions League. The only thing we have to play for is top four and FA Cup. Right? Yeah. And, top, and he's still figuring out his team. Yes, he will mix it up, but I strongly yeah. believe he will play De Gea. I really believe that. And if he plays the hair, the game is ours. That game is ours. <laughs> you are really it confident. Is. I am very confident. I've been watching the hair for many years now. He didn't have to be in this team. He is the best keeper in the world without question. I don't know why he hasn't been in that team and they keep giving it to Noah, maybe because he, whatever. I don't know. But mark my words, if the hair plays, that game is ours. Ironic yeah. that we're so, using keepers so, to okay, just, just, just anyway. that a little bit. I'm just going to respond to a few guys here. I need to you put in your words. So, okay. um, United News um, says we need Bailly and Lindelof in the centre back. You know, against Arsenal on Friday. Do you think so? <sighs> I think our United situation with the uh, sorry, the the comments are going really quickly. So they need Lindelof and Bailly is the point, right? That was the question. I think I, personally, personally, I don't think that combination has worked well for him here, and this is why he's probably using Lindelof and, and you know 
Jones. It hasn't hey, been I'm given time. Part. It hasn't been given time. Lindelof and Bailey have a lot of the times, uh, if they play together, was one or two games, and then Bailey will either get injured or Lindelof would either be benched. So I don't feel like we can say it hasn't worked because we just haven't given them the time. I think Lindelof has kind of shown a sign that there's a chance that he can contest to be a rotational player at United if we get new centre-backs. Bailey, I've always been a fan of Bailey when he first joined, but I feel like he's become a bit careless. He's very aggressive. He gives away fouls. He gets yellow cards at risk of red cards, and he gets injured, right? So yeah. that's why I feel like he hasn't been tested, and I feel like another world-class centre-back to test with these two would work. So I agree, Lindelof and Bailey, if I was to choose our best bet, Smalling, he has had his chance. He's the Fulham defender. I, I, he's just, he hasn't continued to improve. He had one good Wait, season. Um, isn't he injured or something? I, I'm not even I'm sure. sure. I'm not worried. But he had one, I'm not sure whether he's injured or not. To be honest, no disrespect to him and his professional career. I don't care. Um, but he has not improved, right? He's a Fulham okay. defender. Jones has also had his chance. He's had a ceiling. These are our wall courts, just like your wall court. This is our wall court. They don't. They have a ceiling. We don't need them in our team anymore. Get hey, what time back. you come up with the players, okay? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, right, sorry. Okay. But it's the truth. Um, let me let me pick one more comment. Um, uh, you really want to buy? It. This thing is. <laughs> um, I am still says we want to buy, buy it. We didn't want to buy it. We just want to loan him. You know, just use him a bit and give it back to you guys. We didn't want to buy it. Okay. Yeah, it came out in the newspaper today. Um, impressions put it as YK said, we should all expect a very lovely game of football depending on the starting eleven. Well, that's a very diplomatic statement. And um, the reason I say that is because um, we should expect a lovely game, but depending on the starting eleven. Yeah, so basically, if we have what the, the young boys playing, then it wouldn't be a lovely game. Is that what you mean? <laughs> I don't know. But I think regardless, regardless of who we use, I think... It's going to be a lovely game anyways. It doesn't really matter. I, no, I think it's going to be a lovely game partly because we both have rubbish defense. Yes. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be a lot of mistakes, game, but, but great display of attack. Sorry, say that again? I think there's going to be, it's going to be a great game because the defense sucks from both sides. However, <laughs> because of the attacking side of things, I think it's going to be interesting to see who controls that midfield. My suspicions, I'm going to safely say that I feel like Arsenal are going to control the midfield and they will be on top of us. And I feel like we're going to break. We're going to, kind of like what Alex Ferguson used to do to you in the past when he never tried to outpass Arsenal. He never tried to. He would play to you. To, he would let you do your thing and take you on your weak spot, which is breaking against you. I really believe that's what we're going to do. Okay, you think so? Because um, yes. For me, I think it's gonna be a case of um, it's gonna be a case of Arsenal playing counter attack. What do I mean? Uh, in the recent games we've been playing, I mean, even against Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Chelsea even had more possession than us at some point. I don't know if that was the final um statistics. You know whether they had more possession overall. But mm. what we did in those games was we actually used more set pieces and a bit of counter attack. In, the re in recent games, and I think it's just what Emery has been trying to deploy. Um, the fact that you don't always have to play beautiful football to actually win games. You see what I mean? And yeah. um, I think Pogba is on fire, and I think Pogba is going to play. I think he's going to play. Maybe at some point, maybe he's going to bring him, him at some point, or start him and take him off. I don't know. I don't think he's going to play a full game, though. because, you know, mm. he's going to have his eyes on the, on the midweek. So yeah. you need to think about that. He doesn't want players to get injured. I'll use our team as an example. Bellerin just came out from injury, and as we speak right now, that same match, he, you know, he went, he went back to injury, and he's nine months out. He's I didn't see out. that. No. Yeah. So you know, it's it's um, you need to be careful how you just deploy your players to go and play FA Cups or you know, Carling Cups, which yeah. At the end of the day, so it depends on the team that comes up. It depends on the team. Someone says not true. They only better than United in attack. My justification, by the way, to saying you will control the midfield is if you play your first team. If yes. I don't know what's going to happen if you guys mix it up, but I do think we're I don't know. I, I think you won't mix it up. It has to You're going to mix it up. Yeah. 
He can't play. He can't play. He can't play the full squad. I mean, between he has got four days in between. But then I think we have another. We then have another game following weekend Manchester City. So he, he can't just you know play all the first team players in those three games in a row. It doesn't make sense. They're gonna so it's out. gonna be so. Something we didn't cover. It's going to be interesting, the team selections. Why? Because I think this is going to show an intent on what the managers are thinking. Because we're both fighting for top four. Yeah. And that's a bigger priority to both of us than FA Cup. Yeah. Right? So yeah. who is going to be the one to downplay it? That's the question. Um, I don't well, know. I mean... You need to think about it this way. I don't necessarily call it downplaying anything. I just call it game and player management. That's what I call it. If I'm the coach, I'm going to do something similar. I'm not, I need to be very, very um, sensible about how I just go out and, oh, yeah, do, you know, putting all your, all your best players at the risk of injury. But, mate, but this is Manchester United versus Arsenal we're talking about here. I mean, yeah, well, it's not the first you time. cannot. It's not, yeah, it's not the first time in an FA Cup. Check, check, check. Down the years, you hardly see teams that play the full squad in an FA Cup. Hardly. I don't. The only I, I don't. Done that, the only person that's I, done that. I haven't Europe. watched the team selections for other teams, but I know specifically for United that was tactical reasons. For example, no. do you remember the season where Alex Ferguson played uh, Rafael and Fabio on the wings in the midfield to destroy your fullback? That was a tactical reason. I know there was one or two players there we could have played. But it wasn't because, oh, he was managed. That was tactical. He did no, that no. and we thought he was crazy okay, at the you time. Call, you've, and called it worked. One instance, you've called one instance, but how many times? Look, I can tell you this confidently, that Alex Ferguson and Wenger in the FA Cups or Carling Cups, they hadn't used the first team. That's a, that's a known fact. Everyone knows that. They will never use their first 11. Never. Never. Well, they're gone now. Yeah. So but let's, the, the, but I don't, so I don't want to steal the limelight for everyone. I want to give other people a chance to talk. However, to stick to the point, my prediction, if De Gea plays, no chance, Arsenal. No chance. No chance. GGMU. Man United. Get out of my chat. Get out of my chat. Yeah, 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 baby. I'm going to cancel you out now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you. All right. See ya. <laughs>
end-to-end -end attacking or both teams respecting each other? What, what do you think? No, I, I think it's going to be a derby match as usual. And uh, uh, believe me, the mistake we will make is... Uh, the the win we had last time, I think if we are not careful, we are going to lose that match tomorrow. Yeah, if we are not careful, we are going to lose that match because uh, we had that belief. We won our last match against Chelsea yeah. and we are kind of uh, going to gonna like go no. But if we go with the belief of winning the game, like as always, we always go with the belief of winning the game. But uh, for a match like this, we have to like uh, have that belief like we have to believe more because it's going to be a match, man. Yeah. Had it been we lost our match against Chelsea, uh, to be frank, the chance of our, of our winning will be kind of higher. But we won our last match against Chelsea and uh, we had some few injuries like Bellerin and Cole. Uh, and I think that will kind of give us a uh, little uh, comfort or, or discomfort rather. Right. But so so if, I, if I'm right, am I right to say you think? Um, do, are you saying are you saying you think we're we're gonna lose the game? Or I'm not quite I'm not quite sure what you're saying. If you can, you know. Uh, no, I uh, I am saying that much. Like uh, we can't predict it because Man United. Uh, yeah, Man United are currently at their best right now. Seven match or eight match on beating, yeah, all such a feel like that, and they kind of feeling the boss, uh, also, and we've been like uh, having some bad times, uh, and we have some few injuries, so uh, believe me, I am still afraid of the match, but okay, I let think... me stop you there. Let me stop you there. Um, did you watch the game against Chelsea? Of course I do. Of did course you see I how do. we play? I watch every. Yeah, I, I, I see, I've seen that. Did you see the play. passion? Did you see the intensity? Did you see the, you know, the, the drive in the players? Yeah. Everything, like, it's, it's, it's unexpressible, like, no. actually, how we played. We played for the spirit of yeah. the game. No, that was, a bit, that was a bit different from the way we played against um, West Ham. A lot different. But yeah, of, of, of course. Lots, right. like... No, 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 hang on, this hang, on. Is, hang, on hang on, So... All right. Now... For me, I think you're having doubts. That's fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. For me, I yeah. think I'm a bit confident. With all due respect to the United fans watching this, I'm really confident. Do you know why? Because I think Unai Emery brings something uh, no. really different to the table. And that is changing the way we play. There are some games where he changes the tactics like what? Two, three times in a game. And that's because he's got a very... Yeah, of course. He's someone that is very... Um, what's the word? He's very... He has attention to detail and he, make, he always notices what's going on in the game and he always tries to change things at the right time. Yeah? Although, like I was telling the other gentleman that I was, you know, talking to earlier, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. we're probably not going to use our first team. And I think, in my opinion, that Manchester United is not going to use all their first 11. In my opinion. I don't think so. Oh, oh, why? Did you hear what I said? You said they are not going to use their first team. I don't team, but think why? they're going to use their first team for an FA Cup because we've got um, a game on Tuesday, which is a Premier League game. Tuesday. Of course. So yeah. I think it's going to be... Which is very important. That's what I think. And the same thing is going to go for uh, Manchester United as well. I think they're going to mix it up. This is what I think. So... Yeah. Um, it's going to be very difficult to know how this game is going to pan out because of the personalities that are going to be on the pitch. However, I still think it's going to be a lovely game regardless of whether they're using the, the youth team or they're using the first team. I mean, we, we saw Willock against Blackpool. Yeah, you can say it's against Blackpool and all that. But Willock had what? He had two goals. He had a wonderful game. And I mean, yeah, Ajinkata course. is also there. He's always in the squad. He doesn't really make the first team most of the times. And if you look at the Manchester United team that played against Reading, they didn't use the first team as well. Yeah. They had the likes of Fred. Yeah, they, they, they had the yeah. likes of Pereira. And even Lukaku, Lukaku actually started that game. And Lukaku has not been starting a lot of Premier League games. You see what I mean? So, for me, I think it's going to be a mix and match. And if Lukaku should start on Friday, people are going to be saying, oh, yeah, yeah, we're still going to use our first team. Don't forget, he's not part of the first team anymore. 
When I mean it's not part of the first thing, it's yeah, no, it's not he, eleven. Yeah, he is not. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, he is not. He is not. He has been playing very badly. Like one of his worst. I mean, worst. that was in the Mourinho, you know, the Mourinho era because. In the Mourinho era, because yeah. Since Soja came, of them are since Soja came, he's actually been coming off the bench. I think he's had a couple of goals, two or three goals coming off the bench. I'm not sure. Um, and you know that that's good for him. Although Rashford is ahead of him now. But hey, and, but they got eight no, goals each, and you know, in the Premier League. So I think they've still got a very good attacking force. Um, anyway, um, thank you very much, Moses. Um, I think I'll give someone else a chance to. Um, All on. right. Yeah. So it was really nice to, to, really nice right, to you. you. Thank you very much for your contribution. So yeah. Thank you very go. much. What uh, is your prediction? Th- what is your scoreline prediction? Uh, my prediction is two one. As now two, uh, uh, my United one. That's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. All right. All right then. Yeah, Talk that's to you later, yeah? Cheers. Right. Well, love. Or, Cheers. Yeah. Right. So I'm just going to have a quick look at the comments. Someone said Asa is going to lose by 8 nil. Are you mad, Knight? Are you mad? Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? What are you saying, G? What are you saying? What are you doing? Shadow, what are you saying? What are you saying, you're always, you're always at the games, right? I haven't seen you at the games recently. Yeah, I've got to be busy, isn't it? Busy working, right? No, nah, not even, not even, because I've been in the studio. Get me. What, are you a musician? Yeah, man, I'm an MC, in it. Did you know this? Sorry, say that again. You're what? I'm an MC, in it. I'm a rapper, innit? Oh, right. Oh, yeah. man, man. So, so are you... Are you going to rap um, a song for us when, you know, Arsenal whoops Manchester United? Are you going to do that? Cool, cool. So come and just find you. I'm going to do that. Watch me. <laughs> listen, trust me, brother. Listen, you know what? We're going to batter them. <laughs> Tell them, brother. Tell listen, them. Listen, listen to me, right? These people are listening to this. Year. We're going to batter them, but fuck <laughs> them. Listen, fuck them. Fuck social. We're going to batter them and we're going to put them in a cup. You know, yeah. wrap them up and send them back home. <laughs> Listen, fuck Sosha, fuck Pogba, fuck Sanchez, fuck him, but we're going to batter him, trust me. Listen, what? we played against Chelsea, did you see it, bud? The way we oh, played against yeah, Chelsea. <laughs> we battered them, but I missed that game, yeah, but the highlight, I'll see what match of the day in it. We battered them, bud. We're going to batter them, watch. We played like that the way we played against Chelsea, watch, but we're going to finish them. No one is asking, are you mad? <laughs> yeah, trust me, yeah, I am, trust me. We're gonna we're gonna batter them, trust me. We're coming anyway, so, we're gonna so, um, so let's get straight to the point. So um What do you think how do how do you think the game is gonna go? It's gonna go like this thing, uh, obviously they're gonna be up for it. We know how well United are doing, innit? Let's go get let's get it right, innit? Right. You know that's done well. Since Solskjaer has taken over, innit? They've won what, seven games, innit? They've won the last seven games, innit? So yeah, we got won all the games. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Since my man's taken over there, innit? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? We've got to give them that, innit? They've won yeah. the last two games. Remember, they beat Spurs. Innit? Yeah, let's get that right. They beat Spurs, innit? They've beat yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, but we beat Spurs yeah. as well. So, it's not a big deal. Yeah, we smashed them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Forget yeah, it. All right, people are saying to me, ah, oh, yeah, we got beat 5 1 by Liverpool. Or, yeah, that was Liverpool, innit? But let's not forget, though, we beat two teams, innit? Who are above us at the moment, innit? Chelsea and Spurs, innit? Yeah, we dealt with their cards already, in it. We dealt with them. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. it's just so nice. It's gonna go like this, in it, like you know what I mean. Obviously, like they're gonna, I think they're gonna think they're a game, you know. Yeah, Maybe. and and let, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Uh, Unai Emery, um, if you look at his track record in cup game, uh. he's quite good. In, he's quite good in cup games. There you Although go. he hasn't been tested yet in the Premier in the FA Cup. There you um, go. I still, I still think he's got a chance. I still think he's got a chance. I remember so, this. Remember so this so we do all right at home as well, you know. So remember, our home record is, is all right. So we've got yeah. to say that they're coming to us, in it? So we've yeah. got to come there, innit? We, we play like we played against Chelsea, then yeah, I think we'll be all right, you know. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, I agree with you on that. But I yeah. think the, t- the, the fans have to turn up as well. Yes, and um, I think the, t- the ticket is quite cheap for the FA, so there's going to be a lot of people. Um, there's going to be a lot of people um, coming for the game, so it should be a filled up stadium because it got sold out really quickly. This is what I'm saying, like, it's a big game. This thing's to tie the so it'll, you know what I mean? It's going to be a great game. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so what's your prediction? What do you think is going to be the scoreline? 
I'll tell you three one, you know. Three one, yeah. Three one, yeah. Three one off me. Right. I'll tell you right, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. All right, bros. I'm not coming. You know, yeah. See you okay. there. I'm gonna sing a song when we in, yeah. All right, man. I'll be waiting. <laughs> yeah. Take care, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> um, player, but right now I'm, I'm thinking there's a bit of a hiccup on the way. Um, to get him. <coughs> Hi, uh, Mr. Lekon. Right. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Uh, how are you doing? I'm so, fine. So, I'm thinking to with me on Ozil. Um, I, I'll let you hear a talk on that. Um, good evening from this end. I totally disagree. Yeah, Sorry, Abuja, Abuja, Abuja. Yeah, Abuja, Nigeria. Abuja, okay. I was in Abuja, you know. I was in Abuja. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I saw you at Eddie Madaki's wedding. Um, Andy's wedding. Were you there? Madaki. Yeah, I was there, I was there. Wait a minute, did we, did we talk? No, 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 no. We didn't talk. We didn't talk. I saw you from ah. afar. I was, like, I always... And yeah. Like when I saw the face, I was like, I know this guy, I know this guy, I know this guy, I know this guy. I was like, with my friend. My friend told me you were, uh, um, I think you're, you, you're friends with the bride, yeah? To be honest, I'm not even friends with any of them. My friend just brought me there. <laughs> yeah, I actually saw you, but I couldn't, um, this shy time, I couldn't come to say hi or something. Oh, but it's alright. <laughs> yeah. I'm a nice right. friend like you are. Let's go straight to the point so we don't bore too many people. So I want to hear yeah. your, your, you know, your um, opinion on Mesut Ozil because yeah. Mesut Ozil is a very, is a, defi is a divisive figure right now. He's divided the yeah. fans. He's divided the fans. And I'm, I'm in between when it comes to me. I love him for some reason. And I don't like I, him. See, the truth is, the truth is that we're all getting the whole thing wrong here. And the thing is, one thing we can take from Ozil and one thing we can take from Mesut is that Mesut is class. Do you understand? It's world class any day, any day, any time. But one thing we as no fans want from Mesut is consistency. Which yep. that's, he lacks that. Um, yep. I, will tell, I will tell you one thing. Um, Una Emery is doing a good job with Arsenal right now, but then I feel he's taking this Ozil thing to extreme. Do you understand? We should be truthful to ourselves. Without Ozil in that thing, we see we lack creativity. That's the truth. That's the truth. Ozil is not the type of player, and I feel you should, in the Emery should understand that. Ozil is not the type of player who tracks back. Do you understand? Right from the day, he, he's, an, he's an offensive player. He doesn't, he does, which I feel, you know, I, mean, like, I, I feel us now should create that environment for him to walk. Torera, we, have, we, have, we have people like Torreira, we have people like Shaka, we have people like Alayne Ushi actually doing the dirty job. Ozil's job is not dirty. It's not, right. it's not, it's not, no, being serious. Right. It's not right. like, can I can I stop you there? Can I stop you there? Yeah. Can I stop yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You made you made some, you made some points. You made some valid yeah. points. Valid yeah. points. However, um, I have some counter arguments on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, um, I'm just I'm just gonna pick a few things that you said. Hopefully, I remember. You yeah. said that Odell is class, world class. World class. I could agree with you on that. Yeah. But he's world class in what? World class in the, the the technical the technicality of his game. What happened? Now, where I have a problem with Ozil is the fact that you cannot because a player doesn't track back or is not used to tracking back. It doesn't mean that he cannot evolve or change his game. Now, the game evolved, and Asim Wenger was left behind. Now. The game in Premier League has also evolved and it requires every single player to make sure that they clean their own mess. And this is why Alex Ferguson and Manchester United were very successful. They won 13 games, sorry, 13 Premier Leagues in the Premier, the Premier League era. 13. The next to that was five. Why? I will take you back to when Alex Ferguson was 
the um, Alex Ferguson was the coach of Manchester United. There was a thing. There was a there was a way he plays, and there was a like a, a statement that he gives to the players. Always go cover your own mess. What does that mean? If you lose the ball in Manchester United, this good this went for every player. Rooney, Ronaldo, whoever. If you lose the ball in Manchester United, you go clean your mess. It's like you're saying that because I don't track back, then my own team makes you clean up my mess all the time. Now, there are times whereby Ozil, he does it several times. So many times. He loses the ball. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He loses the ball. He loses the ball and expects his teammates to do the dirty work for him to cover his ass. And guess what? If you go to the statistics this season, the statistics this season, Ozil has lost possession the most amongst all the midfielders. No, 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 no. no. I, think think, I think it's Shaka. I am 100% I am sure. He's lost possession. I think possession. it's Shaka. Hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Let me just plan. You know, let me just get where I'm going to. He has lost the most amongst all of them. And when I mean amongst all of them, actually three of them on the same number. 14. Ozil, Ozil, Torreira, and Shaka. 14 times they've been dispossessed this season. 14. And he's played only 13 games. He's played lesser number of games compared to the, 20, um, to the 19 or 20 that Torreira and Shaka has played. And he's still been dispossessed equal number of times. Now, I'm not saying that there's any crime in being dispossessed. You can be dispossessed as many times as you want. But it's the attitude you show to your teammates and to the fans that you're trying to do something about trying to recover the ball and not saying, hey, I uh, know that's not my game. I'll leave it to the other players. That's what pisses me off about him. If I'm on the football pitch and I'm playing with a player like that, I'm going to have a problem with you. Don't tell me to clean up your own mess. You come to my house, you, 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 know, you throw all the trash all around, and then you expect me to come clean up your own mess. That's, that's, that's rubbish. Absolute rubbish. And now, Una Emery doesn't have the time that Asim Vindal has got. He doesn't have that time. We, if, he we, if he doesn't do well, he's going to get back. I, 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 okay, I, I, would, I, would, I would actually want us to, I would actually want us to look, down, look at messages from the days of Madrid. And this is my argument here. No. I feel, yes, I agree with you, football has evolved and everything has actually changed with football. Yep. But one thing is, one thing is, and one thing you should know is, you can't, you see, Rome wasn't built in a day. Do you understand? I feel I'm this just... guy, this guy, I, I don't know what I would say. I, I, I don't want to be, be biased because of my self support for Ozil then. But I feel Probably this objective guy, about it. I'm, objective. I'm objective. I agree with you. He doesn't track back. But I feel, I feel we can't, we shouldn't, we shouldn't. See, Ozil is some. I feel Ozil is someone we can't do without. Do you understand? I feel Ozil brings more. Why? Why? Okay. Why? Okay. Okay. Look at now. Look at you. Look at this from this point of view now. Look at you from this point of view. There was this match you played against Burnley. Could you remember at the Emirates? We all through that. Yes, I think Burnley. Yeah. Did it season? Burnley. Yes, Burnley at the Emirates. Did he play? Did he play? Captain that day. Yeah, was it captain? It was the one if Obama Young scored the goal. Okay, if fine. you could remember. He created the, the, Bolly, you, you know Bolly can be all defensive and all. Trust me, if Ozzy did something that day, he actually has key passes. Do you understand? What he did that day, like, was... Sorry, was, was it the one that he gave... Hang on, was it the one that he gave... Colasinac. Okay, I think I remember that game. Do you, do you know you can remember the, those have, look at the game against West Ham now. Let's look at the game against West Ham. It was no, glaring no, no. that it was glaring that Ozil was missing. See, I feel here, yeah, this guy, this guy, I, I am totally different. I feel it's not his job to track back. Okay. To be honest. Okay, you've said, you've said to be honest. To be honest. You've said, you've to, said to be honest. honest. Hang on, you said something very interesting, wait, 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 wait. and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you. You've, 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 you've talked about, you've talked about a game where he performed. Yeah. Yeah. Burnley. Now I will tell you about another game that he performed this season. Leicester. Leicester. Yeah. He yeah. was the best player. Yeah. He was now. Good. That was. We blame, we blame Leicester. We blame Burnley. He's played 13 games this season. Yeah. 13 games this season. Can you name another game? 
that he was exceptional apart from these two games this whole season? Because mm -hmm. I can't. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. No, I can answer the question. That was, I can answer the question. Now, he's been substituted six times. Six times this season in games that he started. In games that he started. Six times he's been substituted. And I have no fun. Not one single fan. Against, against, against Cardiff, he was substituted. Against Crystal Palace, he was substituted. Yes. Against Chelsea, he was substituted. Against Wolves, he was substituted. Now, against Leicester, he was substituted, but you know, he, did, he did his job already before being substituted. Now, I've named four games that I can remember on top of my head. Can, can, you, can you just have, hold on? Man. Can you just hold on, please? Let me get my charger. Let me get my iPhone charger. Right. No problem. Please, let me get my iPhone charger. Um, <laughs> Sonny, you said um, Ozilla has wasted his career. <laughs> I don't think he's wasted his career. I think he's he's earning some money. You know, <laughs> I think I think what right now anyone that is on three hundred and fifty k a week, I don't see that as a waste for him. And this is one of the reasons he doesn't want to leave because. I don't think anyone is ever going to pay him that much money except he goes to China. I don't see any big club coming to pay that kind of money for Ozil. And he's 30 years old, so I think as far as he's concerned, he, um, he hasn't wasted his, his life yet, you know. Um, um, Emery don't know how to get the best out of him. Spanish David what? <laughs> Sonny, I think you are not. Yes, sir, you're back. Tony, I think you and I need to talk about this because we're probably going to have an argument about Ozil. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Right, so as I was saying, yeah, as I was saying, and I can get someone else on, right? Um, yeah, as yeah I was, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, as I was saying, um, he played 13 games, and I can remember four games. He's played 13 games, he's been some six times, right? He's been substituted six times yeah. out, of 13, out of 13 games, which simply means he's got what, seven more games. And then one of the games he came in against um, Southampton, and he also messed up. Yeah, I guess now, I yeah, no, no, he came no, no, in, no, no. and he also he didn't, he didn't do so well. Now, all these games we've mentioned, the Wolves, Cardiff, Crystal Palace, Chelsea, the ones I can remember on top of my head, he was no, he was non-existent in those games, and these were very physical games, games that required a lot of physicality. Now, if you are playing with a structure where you need everyone to be at par with the way the press, with the way the you know the way the, the, the way the track back and all that, I'll give you an example just before I go back to it. I'll give you an example against Chelsea. Did you see the amount of work Obama Young was putting in after we slated him against West Ham? Against West Ham, he was lethargic. He, was, he, he didn't even have life in him. He wasn't planning to help the team in any way. And I think Emre must have spoken to him. And look at what they kind of shift to put in. He, him and, like I said, against Chelsea. You see what I'm saying? He put in a lot of effort. So every player that is willing to improve a side of his game and listen to the manager is going to do it. Obama has done that. And you can see he was really up for the game. He was, he was tackling. He was, you know, fighting, you know, fighting for every ball. You know, pushing players around and all that. Like I said, the same thing. Now, for Ozil, Ozil has been too comfortable for a long time. This is my opinion. He's been too comfortable a long, long time. Now, if you have a player that is coming from Spanish League, where the physicality level is really low, and the average time he spent in all his three or four years in Real Madrid, I think three or four years, I can't remember how many years he spent. I think four years or three, three and a half or whatever. If, I think it's three and a half years. If you have... Sure yeah, if you have a player playing in a league which is not even physical and only had an average time of 65 to 69 minutes. I repeat, 69 to 65 minutes in a league which is not very physical. That was the average time he spent per game. He doesn't finish 90 minutes because he gets tired easily in a Spanish league. Imagine that. Go check the stats. He, didn't, he hardly finished 90 minutes in a Spanish league. His eyes become red. He becomes very tired. And then he gets substituted. Now, tell me, and I'm not lying about it, this is the fact. Tell me, how is it possible for him to handle the physicality? And don't get me wrong, he's done fantastic. The best season Ozil has had in his how many years in Arsenal? 2013, that is all right. The best season he's had in Arsenal 
was a season he had 19 assists. Do you agree with me on that? Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. 19 assists. Now, you said something at the beginning of this conversation. You want consistency. The best players in the world, the reason that they call them the best players in the world, or they call them world class, and I'm not saying he's not in that category, he is. Why? Because of what he's done in the past. It's because of the consistency. You are required to be consistent if you want to be, if you want to be tagged as the best player in the world. I'll give you an example. How many people do you hear having arguments? I mean, fans of Liverpool having arguments about Salah. How many Chelsea fans do you have having a split opinion about Hazard? How many, you know, how many um, Tottenham fans do you have having a split opinion about Eriksen? Not many. That tells you that there's something. There has to be an element. People just don't hate Ozil. People just don't, do, you know, don't just want him to do well. It's not like they don't, you know, it's just, there's just something they're not getting from him. Do you see what I mean? If you look at all the superstars in every club, you will hardly see where the fans are split about him. Why Ozil? That's the ultimate question. Why Ozil? Uh, the thing is, you yeah, probably, uh, yeah, uh, you, you probably um, been schooled about Ozil right now. It's no more an argument. And most players in the world, definitely you're, you're totally right about it. One ingredient about their game, they must be consistent and all, and that's what's lacking with Ozil. But then I will say it again from this point, point of view that Ozil is it's right from Madrid. I've been following Ozil. I've been with the love of football right from time. I've been following Ozil. Like, he has been, this has been his nature. Right? right from Madrid, and actually was feeling here yeah, for our best player, and to be unfair to the other players, like you rightly said, we creating an environment for just one player to shine. Do you understand? Like, if he does his dirty mess, do you understand? He should owe allegiance to it, like, do, do get it back on track. But then I feel it's not, it's Ozil, Ozil, I feel we can't take away his creativity. That's the truth. I agree with that. That's the truth. I agree with that. We can't take away, but then again, then I feel, I don't know, I, I'm, I totally, what you said truly really anyway, is just all true. This is going to end in a few minutes because I've only got one hour. It's going to end in a few seconds. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we're chat with you. I'm going to come yeah, back on in the day. Okay, nice. But sorry about that, guys. Um, I was on this for an hour, so um, I'm probably gonna be rounding up in a bit. You know, I'm tired. I have a day job as well. <laughs> yeah, come on, you gunners, Mr. Adi, I see you. Pavan, I see you again. Um, so right, I'm probably gonna take one more video request, and I'm gonna call it a day. So. If you're just joining, it's Arsenal versus Manchester United on Friday. So I've just been having a few words with a few you know, people, Manchester United fans, Arsenal fans. And we just had a, a very interesting um, argument just now, myself and um, I think Lekan. Yeah, Lekan. So it was quite a good argument, to be honest. I think he's pro Ozil and I'm... I'm more, you know, balanced about the fact that you need to also look at his backside and the reason why Ana Emery has been, you know, um, using Ozil the way he's been using him. And I try to point out the fact that there are some games where we needed him and he didn't turn up. And if you are the manager, you've given him the license to help the team and he couldn't help the team. I mean, your hands are tied. You need to, you know, you need to put him on the bench. It's unfortunate, but there were a lot of games this season where he got substituted. And when he got substituted, I had nobody saying anything wrong about that. But in the games where he didn't start, people started saying stuff. And I'm like, okay, this is a person that was meant to help us in some games. He didn't help us. And now on the bench team, and you're complaining he's been benched. So I don't know, what do you guys want? Do you want to just see Ozil playing all the time, regardless of how he plays? Whether he plays well or doesn't play well? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, Pavan, you're asking, do you think we will get Denis Suarez? I don't know. The word right now is um, Barcelona and Arsenal hasn't been able to come to an agreement. So, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, he's not a proven player yet. Um, I think one of the players I was looking at instead of him was um, Hazard's brother um, that plays in, in the German Bundesliga, um, Togan Hazard. He's got a very good start. I think he's got like nine goals and what, six assists. And he's not going to be too expensive. He's playing for Mönchengladbach. 
He's a very wonderful player. Although he's not as good as Hazard, his, his elder brother, but he's equally good. So I think that's a player that, you know, he's gone on the ra under the radar. People haven't looked into that direction, you know. So, yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. Um, I think I'm going to call it a wrap. Um, my predictions, I think it's probably going to be 3-1, um, in my opinion. Um, yeah. No, 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 I'm going to take that back. I'm going to go for 3-2. I think it's going to be a game a game with a lot of goals. I think Asa is going to come out on top. Um, I think Manchester United are going to score the goals as well. So, um, Yeah, you've seen the repeat of Chelsea encounter. We're going to whoop their ass. <laughs> I hope so. But um, we need to be careful. Our defense is not there yet. So, um, Anyway, it was really lovely talking to you guys. Thank you very much all for participating. Um, I really appreciate Um. And I'm going to see you guys later, probably after the Manchester United game. I'm going to be getting Graham on here. And um, he's going to be, you know, doing some tactical analysis with myself um, sometime next week. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this more often. So you guys should expect more of this Instagram Live. Feel free to come with your, with your own Arsenal because um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be getting a lot of video requests in. Feel free anytime. Send me IMs, send me inboxes, you know, whatever you want me to talk about. Um, thank you very much, Sonny. Thank you very much, Adi. Thank you very much, every other person. Um, thank you, Thomas. Thomas Swumi. I'm sorry, is it? Thomas Swumi. Oh my goodness, I'm actually Nigerian. I'm messing up. I'm sorry. Take care, guys. Cheers. Come on, you gunners! <laughs>